This is Catherine, and Catherine can't get over the sinking feeling that her husband is cheating on her. Now, her husband is this guy. Mason. And Mason's a lawyer, he has his own law firm, and Catherine thinks Mason might be cheating on her. So, she confronts him. And instead of denying it, he's basically like, yeah, I'm cheating with a woman at work, and I want a divorce. So then Catherine and Mason separate. And Catherine is heartbroken. I mean, they've been married 11 years, and she doesn't want to give up so easily. So she asks him, can we at least try couples therapy? And Mason's like, fine. And then about two weeks later, they're in couples therapy, in one of those sessions with a therapist, and there is where where Catherine drops a bomb on them. Boom. She's pregnant. This will be her and Mason's third kid together. And Mason isn't too happy about this. He's like, this totally ruins my plans. This makes me look like a jerk. And that is when therapist steps in and is like, why don't y'all take the whole family on a little vacation together? Maybe that'll be good for you. So Catherine and Mason do just that. They pack up the kids and go on a little vacation out to West Texas. And to be fair, at this point on the vacation, things are going pretty well. Mason's being nice. He's being attentive. Even after the vacation, Catherine's at home and that morning he stopped by her house. And he brings her breakfast and he brings her water so she can stay hydrated. And yeah, surprisingly, it seems like things in this relationship might be turning around. No, they're not. About 30 minutes after she eats that breakfast he brought her, she starts feeling sick. She has really bad diarrhea, she's cramping, and she's bleeding, which is not good when you're pregnant. Then she starts bleeding even more, and she's like, I gotta get this checked out. So she goes to the ER, and by the time she's at the ER, her urine is nearly black. Something is very wrong. And doctors look at her, and they can't figure out what this is or what seems to be causing these symptoms. So she goes home. And the next day, Mason comes over to her house again to check on her. And he brings her an orange sports drink. Maybe that'll make her feel better. But Catherine remembers the breakfast he had brought her and how she had felt sick afterwards. More specifically, she remembers the water he brought and how that water looked a little cloudy. And that's when she realizes this is trying to poison me. So she accepts the orange sports drink from Mason, but she discreetly doesn't drink it. Instead, she saves it as evidence. Three days later, Mason comes back over again to see her, and he brings her another drink. And again, she secretly doesn't drink it. The next day, he comes over again, and he brings her a bottle of orange juice. And again, she says thank you, but she low-key doesn't drink it. See, she knows he's putting something in her drinks, but she also knows she has to prove it. So Catherine comes up with a plan. She goes and she has cameras installed both inside and outside her house. About a month later, she hits Mason up. And of course, he comes over and he brings her a drink. And she says thanks again, but she secretly doesn't drink it. And while he's there, he cleans out his truck really quick. He just like gets a bunch of trash out of it and he throws it away in her trash bin outside. Now, Catherine doesn't see him do this, but her cameras do. And when she notices this on the footage, she waits till he leaves and she goes out and she gets everything out of the bin that he threw away. And she sifts through it and that is when she finds empty packs of abortion packs pills. He had been putting these pills into her drinks because he really doesn't want a new baby with her and he's trying to induce a miscarriage. So then two days later, he comes over to see Catherine and the kids again. And of course, he goes into the kitchen to make her a drink. And when no one is looking, he quietly pulls out a Ziploc bag out of his pocket full of powder and he empties that bag into the drink he's making her. Little does he know, he's doing all this on camera. One of the hidden cameras Catherine had installed. So then Catherine goes to police with all this footage and all these samples of these drinks she had saved. And it shows that in total, Mason had tried to spike her drinks seven different times. So police go and arrest him. Here's his mugshot. He goes to court. He pleads guilty. And he's sentenced to 180 days in jail. Wow. And now the baby is one year old and she was born 10 weeks prematurely and has developmental delays. Shout out to Texas, I guess.